Hey everyone, it's Jonathan here from Set Sail. Uh, we're still in the middle of recording our instrumental album right now. Um, if you want to find out more about that, you can watch last week's episode, but I don't want to do three episodes in a row all about recording, so this one I'm going to do something slightly different, and uh, I'll just condense all the recording stuff we've done this week into like a 30 second chunk, which I'll show you now. <laughs> So I wanted to do something a little bit different for this episode and I thought let's do a little Q&A. We've had some questions from people on Instagram and YouTube, I will try and answer as many of these as I can. So question one, it's the question we get all the time, why rivers and robots? Rivers is the acoustic, melodic part of our music, robots is the electronic, beats, the synths, all that kind of stuff. Stick them together, you get rivers and robots. When will you guys be coming to the States and many other places? The answer is we would love to come. So we decided early on as a band that we would go to places that were invited, um, but we didn't want to invite ourselves to anything or ask to play at certain places. Um, because we're a worship band and that, it just felt a bit odd to do that. Any invite we get from a church or venue or festival, we'll pray about it, see if we can fit it in our calendar, and if we can, then we'll do it. If you want to invite Rivers and Robots, send us an email, let us know where and when, what it is, and we'll see what we can do. My favourite songs are You Hear Me and Voices Still the Raging Sea. Can you share the story behind them? I love talking about the stories behind songs. I think it would take too long to do it in this q and I'll probably save this for a future video and maybe do a whole video about the stories behind songs or it could be like a regular feature in a thing, but I, I will come back to this because I want to talk about this more. Um, thank you for your question. What are some of the key lessons you've learned? So many, so many lessons. Um, in recent times, one of the big things I've learned is that ministry isn't the most important thing. Um, I like having a project to kind of get stuck into and things to do and make and create. So when I started Rivers and Robots, pretty much all of my free time was kind of consumed with this project. and. I'd spend all my evenings and weekends writing songs, recording music. Since then I've realised that ministry is good, it's important, but it's not everything. And I think God's way more concerned with my relationship with Him than He is the things that I do. So in other words, like being a musician and a missionary, it's part of what I do, but it's not who I am. And when I die and I'm stood before Jesus, He's not going to be like, I'm so glad that song got featured on that blog, <laughs> or you know, or that you got however many subscribers. like. That's not the most important thing. And so I'm trying to focus more on eternal things than I am on temporary things. And that's another story. Um, when did you get into creating music? How did Rivers and Robots start? All those kind of questions. So we all grew up in these small family churches where anyone with a musical interest gets put in the worship band. So we've all been playing instruments from a pretty young age. In terms of creating music, I've always enjoyed music production as a hobby. As a teenager I used to make these weird techno remixes and like comedy songs that I've got a CD of somewhere on my shelf. And so when I was 18 I started to lead worship and my songwriting went from weird techno remixes into writing worship songs. And so the first two Rivers and Robots albums were all just done in my bedroom with a laptop and one microphone. <laughs> what bands or music groups have influenced your guys' sound as a band? Um, all of these. Why did you choose to study graphic design? So, the childhood dream of mine was to work at Pixar. I used to make all these comedy animations when I was in high school, and then when I went to college they didn't actually do a course in animation, so I picked computer science, graphic design, media studies, and English language. And I thought all of those added together kind of created an animation course. But I ended up really enjoying the graphic design part, and so that became my job for about five years until I left to run Set Sail and Rivers and Robots. Um, I still do a bit of graphic design, but on a freelance basis every now and then. But Can you please tell me more about your missions work? I'm very aware that we've not sat down and shared the whole vision of Set Sail in video form yet, so we're actually planning on doing that a lot more in detail very soon in a new video. The best thing to do at the moment is to go to timetosetsail.com. You can read our vision and our story and all about what we do there. Okay, that's all the questions I've got time for. If you've got any more, leave them in the comments below and we will try and get some more done in the future. Right now, we're off to Edinburgh for another gig, so I need to go and, I need to go and pack. Cool. Ah. 
drive in right now. I am, yeah. Driving up a storm. Driving in the storm. Yeah. It's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit wet. <laughs> We've made it to Edinburgh. Oh, it's a bit windy. That guy nearly gave me a fine. <laughs> We're in Edinburgh. We've just sound checked and um, people are arriving now. It's getting a bit legit. <laughs> I think this is like a. It seems like some kind of old theatre. You've got a stage over there, it's pretty cool. Edinburgh's finished. I mean, Edinburgh's, Edinburgh still exists. <laughs> We've finished playing at it. And now we're driving home. Should make it back for like 2 a.m., but we'll see how we go. Are you excited, Dave? Um, excited for the road trip. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna sleep for a bit, and then I'm gonna drive for a bit. You look a bit I'm scary in that light. I know. <laughs> it's a bit ominous. Okay. <laughs> Set sail, video blog. Set sail, video blog, it's a video, it's a blog as well, set sail.